Carolina Herrera. Thank you. Devil wear in Hollywood. Look around you. <laughs> <laughs> and Meryl over here, congratulations. Oh, sorry. Sorry? Hello. Couldn't hear you, darling. I'm right over here. Oh, thank you. Uh, is it the right impression that you were quite emotional tonight, um, even though you've won so many awards? Um, is I know. Is it you got over the emotion? <laughs> well, I usually, I don't know, I usually have a few drinks before my category comes up. So I was not really um, settled in my, you know, my spilkes were not quieted. <laughs> uh, I don't need to translate that for the Hollywood foreign. Hello. Thing. Hi, Meryl, over here. Hi. Hi. If you could mention something perhaps about the political implications of the movie you are making with Robert Redford about Afghanistan. Oh, it's, um, well, it's a very complicated uh, geopolitical thriller about uh, conscience and bravery. It's, it's about a professor and his student and, and there's a section of something happening in Afghanistan and there's a section of something happening in Washington and I'm in the Washington part. I play a journalist. Yes, I'm watching you all very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you keep a lot of the wardrobe or any part of the wardrobe of the Beautiful wardrobe from uh, the Devil Wears Prada. No, we auctioned the wardrobe from the Devil Wears Prada to benefit three organizations, uh, Breast Cancer Research and um, Dress for Success, which is an organization that helps uh, underprivileged women make a transition into the workforce and get some, it doesn't just dress them, it helps them learn skills that will uh, get them forward and, and also Equality Now, which is an organization I've worked with for a long time for the rights of women and girls worldwide. Mystery. Did you see the other movies that were nominated in the same category? That I saw many, many of them, yes, yes, and they were astonishing. Meryl? But it does bother me that you can't see these films across America. I'm lucky I live in New York, so I can see lots and lots of great movies. This is, this is such a chilly character. What was your husband's response to seeing you in this role? Did it My my Was husband in, uh, in 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 Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, to see your character, you portrayed him look so chilly. <laughs> well, I was so over, I so overcompensated at home. You know, he was thrilled uh, because I got all my nasty rocks off at work. So <laughs> I was just like, you know, butter wouldn't melt. Can I do anything for you, darling? When I got home, but <laughs> the street. What was it like for you to be able to go up and speak for about four minutes and say thank you versus the option when the red light go and you get? It's so great. Did I speak for four minutes? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate people that do that. Oh, God. I thought I was speaking so rapidly, but, you know, you never know. Miss uh, Streep. I've been complaining for so many years about how women of a certain age can't find really good roles. Yes. You keep coming up with them over and over and over. Well, I don't keep coming up with them. Somebody does. And I think more women are in the positions to uh, greenlight these projects at the studios and at the um, independent film companies that that's why we see more. You feel like you're trailblazing, leading away? Um, yeah, great. That's that's fine. So, Marilyn, is in fall. Oh, I think we've been shut off. Never mind. Am I done? Oh, so sorry. Miss Street. Uh, Meryl, thanks for your words for distribution, yeah. are important to all the world. There is a solution in your opinion? Uh, yes, I think demand. Demand drives the market. And I really meant it. If you go down to your theater manager and say, why can't I see this? All my friends want to see it. it if everybody does that, it, it really will uh, change things. But uh, unless people do that, unless women do that, um, they'll... they'll be making films just for a certain market that goes out on the date night. And it's, it limits it, limits the choices. Ms. Street, at the risk of going from the sublime to the ridiculous, have you learned any ABBA songs yet? Um, say that again. Any ABBA songs? I don't know where songs. you are. I hear right this voice. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Have you learned any ABBA songs yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not going to hear them for a year. <laughs> Vocally, I'm not afraid of. Physically, I'm a little. Uh, <laughs> gotta get my. That was a lot of dancing. A lot of dancing. So. Miss Tripp, 
from W. Oh, yeah. Meryl? Mistress. Meryl right here. Yep. Uh, where, do you have a separate room for all your awards? I mean, where do you keep all of everything that you win? Um, I have them all in a certain place. Nice. Where is that? <laughs> well, it's sort of in my office, ranged up on a on the wall. Miss yeah. Tripp from W Radio Columbia. Do you think Hi. it's a uh, a little bit of your character in every boss? Um, is every boss a little bit like this? Yeah. Well, anybody that takes responsibility, where the buck stops, I think, has to have a certain uh, severity in their uh, decision making and um, some people apply emollients to that and some people don't bother with it but everybody has to make tough decisions who's a boss I guess I've never been one <laughs> um, number no. wise hi. Mr. hi first off you look just you look 25 years old tonight you look so beautiful they're I so far in the back Oh. No, well, the lights are good. The lights are good. Okay, Thank you this for is that. a frivolous question tonight. We don't think of you probably as that much of a party girl, but are you <laughs> and will you be? Yes, I have a 15-year-old with me, and um, I'm going to be watching everything she does. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we'll go to the parties. We'll have okay, some fun. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now we just need you to close Okay. What are your thoughts on working with Tom Cruise? Oh, he, it's exciting. And, and to work with Redford again, because it's been a long time. And I'm really fond of him, too. So. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.